I, I didn't realize it is visible. Actually, presentation is corrupted. When I was working while driving, I mean, when, when we were coming here. So let me see what we can do. <clears throat> is not coming. Corrupted actually. From that slide you can put it. Mm. This that and five courses. But I don't need it in the room. Because you're not connected to Where is the hard disk? Right here. Mm. One minute. Hard disk. Okay. What I did I saved it. Yesterday you drive the picture, right? Then you come and print it like this. I mean, sorry, you come and put it like this. The hard drive is in there. Okay, this is not coming. Just this is the one. is not coming. Okay. Maybe you want to close it and start. You close it and come back. Okay, close it and open it. Empty sound to download. Here at least we lose it. Okay, let me see. Okay, at least this you is you reset know. everything. Mm. This will be only the reason you put. You just save it some other extra. Mm. Actually, it's that's good. No, it's the other. Oh, sorry. Projector. Yeah. Connect. We used. Yeah. Just one minute.
sorry for little um, नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय अज्ञानतिमृंदज्ञानाजनशलाकया चक्षरोन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्यमनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये न भूतले स्वयं रूपाकदाह्यम ददाति स्वापदाक वंदेहम श्रीगुरोयुतापदकमल श्रीगुरोन्वैष्णवश्च श्रीरूप सगृजता सहगणा रघुनादान्वित तम सजीव साद्वैत सवधूत परिजना सहित कृष्णचैतन्यदीव श्रीराधाकृष्णपद सहगणा ललिता श्री विशाखन्वित हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांतराधाकमोस्तुते तप कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरिप्रिय वंचाकल्पदुर्भ्य शिखरभा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्य वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैत श्री गाधार शिवसदी गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुखम करते वाचाल पंगुम लंगायते गिरी यत्कृपात मोहम वंदे शीघ्र वंदन तारण परमानंद मानो श्री चैतन्यश्वर वेरी आर नोट एंड ग्रेटफुल टू बी विथ यू डे आई नेदर हैव एनी क्वालिफिकेशन नॉर डे हैव एनी रियलाइजेशन आई सीक द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ ऑल द सीनियर डिवोटी सिटिंग हियर स्पेशली नवीन नीरद प्रभु एंड आई डोंट नो दैट नेम्स हरे कृष्ण इज अ लिटिल टेक्निकल प्रेजेंटेशन सो I mean, many of you, you know this, but just uh, mm, I thought I presented this in recently in some universities, and I myself felt good about it. But what happened today? Certain slides they were, you know, they were not there. So please bear with me for the inconvenience. <coughs> Consciousness, the five courses actually. Today's topic is. Though it is evolving or devolving, I will be discussing about the five levels of consciousness, the five koshas. This is discussed in thirteenth chapter of Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> so, um, the first lesson of spirituality is: uh, you are not this body. <coughs> but we are a spirit soul part and parcel of krishna so this gentleman dr harry monson he what he did uh, he analyzed uh, all the chemical elements of our body and he concluded uh, our body is worth only five dollars actually it is little less to give more weight i just made it around figure actually it is 5 dollars <coughs> so when we are going in a car bmw car and uh, meet with an accident uh, <coughs> who is rescued first 40 50000 dollar bmw or 5 dollar worth car uh, 5 dollar worth the us we are not just 5 dollar worth of bag of chemicals we are actually a very powerful eternal 
blissful spirit soul i mean i really do not know how much the residents of san jose appreciate sun but we from michigan we have a lot of respect for sun actually because we don't get to see him often so but we should know we are also as powerful as sun that much powerful we are actually <coughs> so why i am telling this is whenever a problem comes we address the problem with the premise i am this body i am a woman i am a man i am this we identify ourselves with this uh, temporary designations and uh, we address the problem in fact because the foundation on which we are standing is wrong sometimes or many times we may not be able to provide proper solution to it but when we realize we are a very powerful person you know spirit soul as powerful as person as a as powerful as sun then believe me it will change your lives you know <clears throat> so we are not the body of we are not the bag of chemicals but we are uh, we are a spirit soul so we have three bodies you all know this uh, the the body is made up of a uh, gross body stoola sharir you know it is made up of this five elements earth water fire air ether and within which we have a sukshma sharir it is made up of mind intelligence false ego manah buddhi ahankar and within which is what we are we have a spiritual body spirit soul the soul has two coverings gross body stoola sharir and within that is a subtle body sukshma sharir so we are not the body that we see in the mirror but uh, we are actually a spirit soul sitting in the body like a driver to the car we are a spirit soul sitting in the body next to us is parmatma krishna <clears throat> and uh, as i showed you before the three bodies especially the mind which is part of the subtle body is a repository of our desires and uh, our experiences and we have constantly uh, many desires and uh, always the subtle body is filled with uh, uh a lot and because of this unfulfilled desires and uh, uh a reaction to our desires the karma we are going through different species you know in this huge gigant gigantic universe jalaja navalakshane stavara lakshmim sati kramrayo kramayo rudra sankhyayam pakshinam dasa lakshaya trimsa lakshane pasuha chatur lakshane manava so 8.4 million living entities padma purana explains the <coughs> explains the Pad- padma purana classifies you know this money uh, 9 lakhs of 900000 aquatics you know 20 i mean 2 million uh, uh, plants 11 1.1 million kramayo rudra sankhyayam insects birds pakshinam das laksha 10 lakh at moment 1 million sorry 10 1 million birds 3 million beasts and uh, chatur laksha ne manava uh, 400000 human beings so we are taking this different bodies and uh, and uh, we are actually traveling in this uh, gigantic universe why i want to show this video is that is one milky way so where is earth sun is not visible forget about earth right now i'm just showing only 14 galaxies there are millions of galaxies and right now it is happening actually 
these planets are traveling you know in the shape of virgo sagittarius gemini different formations where is earth not visible where is sun not visible sitting in california we think we are the pure devotees we control the whole universe our egos are so high we think uh, you know we are actually controlling this entire thing forget about uh, california forget about earth sun is not visible then what is our existence what is the value of our egos what is the value of our plans why i have shown this is uh, when our ego through trouble i would think of this and uh, <coughs> the problem and the problem i go i go through it sometimes you know we think we only go through problems and the problem appears a huge and we cannot even address forget about the problem california is not visible america is not visible earth is not visible so i whether have anything comes to anything that happens in our life krishna does it for only one reason to bring us to this reality we are not as body but as spirit so to bring us to the reality that we are eternally happy beings because of our unlimited ego because of our uh, <coughs> impurities in the heart that have been there since time immemorial we are going through this krishna is a very very merciful father you know he is trying to bring us to this reality should i continue so <coughs> so in this different species what we are doing uh, we stay in that body for some time then immediately we go to the ether prabhat said one of the one of the prime ministers he became a dog in the switzerland and whenever i go to india you know i see so many advertisements on his name and i feel really sad because a dog doesn't live more than 12 to 15 years and this person is you know trans migrated to next body next 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 so we take this the things in this world very seriously actually but it doesn't mean anything so once we go to the ether what happens we get into the clouds then what happens we it rains when it rains we come down through the rain we fall in the fields the father eats the grains and at the time of procreation you know uh we are pushed into the womb of the mother and again we are ready another term to satisfy our desires to pursue our karma you know so i have a small video here i'm sorry i think yeah i have a problem i don't know whether i can play the videos or not No, no, no. Actually, there is a video. I'm sorry. Next time, I mean, once the session ends, it's there somewhere. Actually, I was trying to edit this while driving, and something got messed up. I really doubt I can play other videos or not. Let me see. So, and actually, it's a very nice video. if you can see it's a very, very long video probably 7 to 10 minutes how we as a baby struggling in the womb of the mother for 9 months what happens first month second month third month fourth month so the, my point is my point is uh, <coughs> um, that is the real problem we all came through that phase we all went through that and literally many of us in the society are again getting into the same phase very soon somebody comes and tells us we'll give you 10 million sir we'll give you 10000 dollars can you sit in a closed gunny bag for 9 months 
what will you say keep it with you you know you have to sit in this bag head down feet up for 9 months we cannot but we all went through that phase and some of your parents have given birth to children who went through that phase and many of us are actually getting ready to go through the same phase again punarapi jananam punarapi maranam punarapi janani jatre sainam eh samsare kadadukare krupaya dehi pahi murare bhaj govindam bhaj govindam bhaj govindam mudamate samprapte sanhite kale nahi nahi rakshati dukram karane shankaracharya says few centuries ago the way today software is very lucrative profession those days sanskrit you know sanskrit uh, scholar was a very lucrative profession one day he went to the bank of ganga where he happened to see a young student reciting uh, actually by hearting the sanskrit verses sanskrit grammar actually so he was by hearting dukrum karane dukrum karane dukrum karane shankaracharya became angry fool number 1 at the time of death this dukrum karane will not work take the shelter of govinda krishna and chant krishna's name and he spoke these verses extempore they are very famous known as bhaj govinda shlokas actually so <clears throat> uh, what is actually pushing us to the next uh, next uh, birth which one in this 8.4 mill living entities is our last thoughts yam yam vapi smaran bhavam tyajatyante kalivaram tam tami vaidikavantaya sada tad bhav bhavita you know this is so many people who act in the film industry they want to be they always want to expose ne krishna says all right take birth of a tree trees don't wear clothes somebody wants to eat anything and ever, everything krishna nature says you know become a groundhog so so in this way in this way what we are doing is uh, oh very interesting ah huh? one minute one minute this is the video i don't know what happened you all want to see that this is the video which i bypassed okay you know what is the next body you are going to get you must have information
that is how we all have taken birth so <clears throat> that's why life means not body but not matter but consciousness so today i will discuss uh how this evolution of consciousness app has happened and how it, how the progression takes place so during 19 around early 19th century jagdish chandra was proved plants have life because of which he got nobel prize actually so wherever there is consciousness their life is there so trees have actually they are our brothers and sisters no doubt so it's called achadita chetana covered consciousness can you believe they are also like us but uh, they have abused i mean um, uh, so much their freedom that uh, their m- mobility is curtailed they cannot even move you know in this muirwood forest there is a tree called general sherman grand tree which has been there more than 2200 years so i have a question for all of you after leading a wonderful human life as see you in this council canval i mean silicon valley who wants to become a tree that you stand there for hundreds of years so if we drive on this road you know breaking every traffic signal breaking the speed limits how many of us agree in definitely in an hour we get a ticket right but for nature we, nature does not need to wait actually an hour to get the give the ticket one second so uh nature is the nature's laws are very strict unfortunately many people don't know this achadita chetana covered consciousness so it's a pure spirit soul but what has happened to the consciousness totally covered It's totally covered the tree doesn't know i'm a pure spirit soul of uh, eter- having having a life of eternity knowledge and bliss you know so what happens actually it is said sometimes a flood comes this they have uh, actually network immediately all the trees they communicate a flood is coming be ready be ready be ready and you know underneath they you know uh <coughs> using their roots and they they what is that they bind themselves each other so that they remain strong in the in the and on the, uh, the earth so that uh, they are not swept away by the flow of the floods sometimes uh, uh, uh insect attack when insect attack happens immediately all the tree trees they communicate insects are coming be ready you know and uh, because they cannot run they can't move but they have their own inbuilt mechanisms where they whereby they defend you know you you as you are walking towards a tree with an axe the tree becomes ready ready for the worst because it is a spirit soul like us you know then after living a leading life as a tree for some years then we go to the next stage you know um this is what is called evolution shrunken consciousness sankuchita chetana where uh, the mobility is there in the animal life but most of the time it is uh, eating mating sleeping and defending ahara nidra bhaya maidunam cha samanyam idat pasu bharnaranam so uh, in an animal life it is just uh, eating mating sleeping and uh, defending actually i lived in yurundan close to 10 years and one time it was heavy snow for uh, snow continuously for months so like it is almost like a two feet of snow uh probably a month month and of two months snow did not melt so around 10:30 in the night i was looking suddenly pra- a, 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 a like you know a group of deer uh, they came looking for food but everything is white because just a snow so then the deer started digging the snow and what they did finally underneath this two feet snow there was grass that was totally wet and they were eating it i was thinking oh, how fortunate i am you know when it is cold we switch on the heat when i when it is hot we switch on ac 
but they don't have that type of uh, facilities actually so this consciousness is evolved but it is a shrunken it is there it is not no more covered it is a little bit better it's called a shrunken consciousness sankuchita chetana you know but unfortunately today's technologically developed world even human beings they are behaving uh sat so many areas worse than animals actually so sad that's why there is a lot of need for preaching you know um yesterday night in you know, a prabhu ji was asking and i was telling him the regulation animals have we don't have that type of regulation cow will die but will never eat non vegetarian tiger will die lion will die but never eat will never eat vegetarian but in our case we have a choice and they have whenever they become hung, sick they don't eat just they fast because you don't see any veter- veterinary doctors in uh, forest right so how do they cure themselves as i've seen so many uh, chickens you know uh, there is roosters when they become sick they just fast and they become all right you know in our case when we become sick we eat more hare krishna eh yeah. breakfast lunch and dinner one famous uh, uh, champion of vegetarianism he said we don't need that much food actually it is all in the mind you know a hey, gulab jamun sir there you know you want to eat no i am my stomach is full put it in the refrigerator tomorrow i'll eat tomorrow in one hour nothing will be there all right bring it here so stomach is telling no no tongue is telling yes yes so we are then a disease is telling yes 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 so <clears throat> shrunken consciousness uh, the next one is uh, again because of the suffering the animals go through then come they come to the next stage called mukulita chetana budding consciousness means human being means in this hierarchy the highest species but means why it is called mukulita means this flower has a power to bloom to blossom little 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 and fully because it is it is it has the ability this state of consciousness is called uh, mukulita chetana and uh, most majority of the people they because they just evolved from animal life uh, they focus their life on very classic way of eating mating sleeping and defending but I mean, they don't know they have the power to evolve more and they can even attain the eternal life eternal life of happiness and bliss so <clears throat> um but how do we go progress to the next degrees how do you progress some people who are very who are very refined what they do they try to go to the next level in this human life called vikasita chetana where this flower starts blooming you accept the shelter of a bona fide spiritual master and uh, under his guidance you practice bhakti yoga where you work Ah, uh, you know the goal of the life is actually to purify your existence, actually to elevate your consciousness. I did the program day for yesterday night, and one gentleman asked me, "Excuse me, where do how do I balance? I have material desires, I have spiritual desires. How do I balance?" I said, "The goal of human life is to." elevate the consciousness but unfortunately by the time we come to know you have a designation as a father you have a designation as a husband you have a designation as an employee so you cannot leave it give it give it up though it is very important though human life is actually meant for elevating the consciousness but still because there is no training systematic training even in india it's not there we do not know so we let the life of uh, 
ignorance so by the time we come to know we already have so many designations then what is the that's why proper said it is best use of the bad bargain so what is the thumb rule balance i told him very simple morning one hour evening one hour that's it you do you want to do business we do business you want to be a manager do manage become a manager you want to have 10 10 children if you can maintain maintain them but uh, morning one hour evening one hour chant your rounds and follow regular principles yam and niyam you know the initial principles of yoga ladder so but the goal of life is to elevate the consciousness go to the next level don't just stay at the human life because sometimes even devotees we see you know after listening the whole lecture i have been chanting for past 10 years two rounds what is that means you have no faith you don't have the faith in the process no it is very scientific systematic allow the flower to bloom allow your consciousness to bloom if you see if you see a rose flower just wait one day 24 hours it immediately will start you know a blooming likewise let your consciousness bloom so we all those of you from india whatever energy you put to gain a seat into engineering 50% you put here you don't need 100% just 50% you know 2 o'clock you are awake drinking hot tea how many of i'm sure how many of you did let us be honest yes otherwise you're not here in that 50% only you put here you let in the perfection and uh, bhakti yoga is practiced there you know the first five points are connected to guru actually except the uh, shelter take take initiation from the bona fide spiritual master and continue you know continue bhakti process under his guidance so then what happens you are making an endeavor to uh blossom your consciousness vikasita se chetana when under the guidance of a bona fide spiritual master when you practice bhakti yoga process what happens then purna vikasita chetana fully blossomed you know two years ago i attended temple president meeting that day a uh, vaisheshik prabhu was giving class as he was giving class suddenly charu prabhu entered tiyata temple head so vaisheshik prabhu was telling so prabhupada he charu prabhu asked prabhupada prabhupada how long does this to attain perfection in the process how long does it take you get into the university four years later you get the certificate yesterday i don't know how many of you attended i i compare direct krishna process to a phd in pharmacology and why not other engineering phd in electrical mechanical why i said pharmaceutical why i mean pharmacology because they told me the phd students in pharmaceutical pharmacology told me phd means close your eyes and mix the medicines are you keep on mixing after 80 years also no success but one day suddenly some medicine comes i'm a thank god <laughs> you get the phd after 20 years also you'll not get the phd or maybe you'll get the phd in 3 years in other words in other words we are all aiming for uh, eternal happiness what is today's our happiness gulab jamun 8 seconds samosa 2 minutes i have not come across any happiness that lasts continuous one hour do does I, anyone know you know happiness that lasts one one and a half hours non stop in this class i am talking about material pleasures so purna vikasita chetana means a fully blossomed consciousness eternal consciousness eternal consciousness of eternal happiness and bliss
that's possible in this life in our devotional life but today's session is uh, how does it happen okay every person who is initiated will attain that every person who chants putting the beads talking up uh, tell me ah uh, when they are talking we chant when we are talking we don't chant so how is the sincerity measured you know not wearing a saffron is sincere or wearing a two inch tilak is sincere or a brahman initiation is sincere who who measures the sincerity interesting or not so every brahman initiated devotee will go back to godhead every only first initiated devotees will have to take second life or a persons outside of iskon they will never go back to godhead who decides how does this progression of uh, mukulita chetana to fully budding consciousness to fully blossom consciousness how does it work this is where 13th chapter geeta comes in so we have called i told in the initial way today in the in the beginning i said it's a technical session should i continue how many of you want me to continue i think everyone is hungry आवाज एकदम यू नो डीला सो यू हैव व्हाट आर द लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ एनर्जी यू हैव यू एक्सर्टेड विद द फुल होप दैट आफ्टर द सेशन प्रसाद विल कम सो एक्चुअली इट इज नॉट शा इट इज सा कोसा यू नो एक्चुअली व्हाट हैपेंड दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वाज मेस्ड अप एंड आई picked up the old version i don't know how what is there in that let us see i don't remember also so we have five levels of consciousness even in human life from budding to fully blossomed we have these things will happen internally annamaya kosha pranamaya kosha manomaya kosha vijnanamaya kosha ఆనందమే కోశ యూనో సో మనమే సంపి సమ్టైమ్స్ ఇట్స్ కాల్ జ్ఞానమయ సో దీస్ కోసస్ ఆర్ లైక్ ద లోటస్ బర్డ్ టు యూనో ఐ టోల్డ్ యూ రైట్ బ్లోజమ్డ్ అండ్ ఫుల్లీ బ్లూమ్డ్ కాన్షియస్నెస్ విల్ సీ ఐ విల్ ప్రూవ్ ఆల్సో సర్టన్ థింగ్స్ what is annama kosha annama kosha means the external covering they look for food only you know i want everyone to hear from now onwards hey this weekend what are you going to do mm, i'll take breakfast then i take rest and i will take lunch and i take rest and 4 o'clock i eat and i take rest and say 7 o'clock lunch dinner i eat take rest then in between somebody gives me some snacks that is also fine and, and food okay so with this weekend uh, we are attending sunday feast or not i know sunday feast 12:30 to 1 o'clock aarti 1 to 2 class 2 to 2 onwards prasad i'll go at probably 2 o'clock 2 to 5 because by the time pr- they start serving prasad you know annamaya you know so in actually children sometimes people say children are very pure they are representation of god freud said children have sex life they have strong desire for sex and if you see the photo of hitler he looks so innocent you know so innocent <laughs> so many desires the body is not ready the body is not ready actually children they are anna me kosha i'll prove you should i prove you got a one year child go close and to like this and put your finger like this and what does a child do food what does a child do food and give him a mouse not the regular mouse computer mouse <laughs> and what does a child do 
put in the mouth. For them, everything is food only. Very lowest consciousness. You know? You're understanding or not? Everything is food only. And as soon as they become hungry, and wherever the mother is there, so mother means, mother knows the meaning. Mommy, wherever you are, I am hungry. Mom says, I am coming, 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 coming. So immediately mother starts giving the breast milk. So child learns the first lesson. Whenever I become hungry, I should increase the voice. Sometimes, mother is not coming, increase the sound. So who is teaching the child? Hare Krishna, Paramatma actually. So anyway, by the time child is six months, child knows the first lesson. Early morning we hear the boats chirping. Or you know, roaster, kukuroko. Roaster has any love for us to wake us up. Roaster is telling where is my sex life. Where is my mate? But when that sound we hear, so likewise a child is making an inquiry, where is my mother's breast milk? And he knows, the baby, sorry, he or he or she, baby knows, when I cry, mother will come and give me what I want. Don't think as you grow, you will elevate to the other courses. No. Unless somebody is consciously become spiritual, they remain in that only. These people are prone to bad habits. So if you really want to spoil your child, give them whatever they want. Toy 1, 2, 3, 20, 30 toys. So child knows whenever I want to cry, I will get what I want. Annamaya kosha. You are pushing your kids in that kosha. And I know some parents, some mothers, my son should become very strong. Feed this much. Eh? A child cannot eat more than half a samosa at that age. Mother brings two. Because some mothers, they think if I feed too much, he will become very strong. He will become stout. He will not become strong. I am serious. So what is the mother's consciousness? I am this body and you are this body. So out of affection, of ignorance, she is pushing the baby into the pure Annamai Kosha. Even if you join full time, trying to come to Anandamaya, your mother says, for you I made gulab jamun, rasgulla, this, this, eat, I made you. And when you see that your tears come, my mother is very affectionate. Definitely not. So what is she telling? You are this body. You came from me, I am this body. I am sorry to tell you, it is a reality. I just came from India. I told this to my mother. You know, she made this many items. Am I? You're telling me, you're this body, and you're telling me. So you're telling yourself, you're this body. You're telling me, I'm this body. No, no, no. I made this for you. I made this for you. Are no? I'm not this body. You'll tell one time, two time, third time. No problem. Philosophy is philosophy for others. Give me that uh, sweet chapati. Give me vada. Give me dosha. I am this body. The first instruction of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is speaking for eight in 18 verses. It is very difficult to realize for us. Don't think spirituality is easy. Pharmacology PhD is easier than actual spirituality. Should I continue? Why I am telling? What will happen? What will happen? This boy knows if I cry, I will get I will get whatever I want. But a day will come. He has to get, he or she has to get things what they want. ACT, SAT, scores are bad. He cry. Scores will not improve. Whenever these people are depressed, at the age of 12, 16, you cannot look for your mother's breast, breast milk. Then you find your mother's breast milk in other means. What is that? Whenever you are depressed, whenever you want something, 
that is your mother's breast milk drugs alcohol illicit sex i know one lady when or she is depressed she opens the fridge and eats everything fridge is the mother's breast milk interesting so whenever we are down down means what we want something we didn't get it so how do you compensate it many people buy coke some people buy alcohol it means that is their mother's breast milk annamaya kosha interesting or not and when they are in this consciousness it tomorrow to right now you have a meeting in 1 10 o'clock you have a meeting in your office and you have to go to the office make a presentation you have to prepare the presentation you need another half an hour time is already 9 o'clock so if you drive now you'll reach your office 9:30 9:30 10 o'clock you'll make a presentation 10 o'clock you'll present this is very crucial for your career you start driving i'm talking in general you see a big billboard one bread on that salad on that cheese on that another bread burger all the you know saliva starts coming are you have to make you have to spend another half an hour in the office no problem you take an exit why america has mcdonald's advertisements everywhere they know people are in annamaya just by showing this i can attract can you believe even if you are busy if you drive another 8 hours you'll reach new york and you have an urgent meeting to attend and you see the big billboard only 1 dollar this much take an exit spend another half an hour so you don't even have control on a basic instinct how many of you are how many of us agree with this bhakti is not easy simple though yes or no but with great difficulty you'll go to the next level pranamaya kosha pranamaya kosha means they want food and security so they they not not so much food conscious but they are security conscious hey guys what all i want is only one job that's it and with great difficulty work work you got the job you think you have climbed everest job comes family comes right anyway natural default hey you know there is a problem in kashmir i don't care i have a job i have food so there is a problem in this i don't care i have a job i have food i have family hey you know what there is a bomb blast where in this place i don't care i have a job i have food and because they are security conscious they work very hard to retain this job but then what happens one day you lose the job because your whole life is put in security the moment you lose the job like a sand castle will crumble sunyayitam jagat sarvam job virahe nave you know so you know instead of telling my lord ainanda tanuja kinkaram ainanda ai job kinkaram you know <laughs> so where are you my job jamins they look for security and if that type of people have problem in a uh, and job or in family relationships they are totally crumbled they go to hospital one day his spouse says bye bye oh bye bye what bye bye i know people who are admitted in the hospital actually pranamaya better than food no doubt but a uh, little better consciousness should i continue yes third one is very interesting manomaya means they have desires you want a job i want engineering job only you want a job not ordinary job i want doctor job only you want a spouse i want medical spouse only 
serious you want a home five bedroom home only you want a car bmw only these people they want to show others they are happy hey they are calling for uh, um, you know invitation for uh, their child's birthday did they come to our child's birthday they came then we should go did they give any gift ah they gave 50 dollar gift again there are two types of people in this they give they give gift right you give a 5 dollar gift but other type of people they are there same category you know they gave a 50 dollar gift we should give at least 51 dollar gift we should be little better than them it's all mind you know we always think what others are thinking we want to show others we are happy even though we are miserable one gentleman told me every year i buy something new to show our relatives we are making progress he told me this year we purchased car he told me 20 years ago so we want to show the relatives we are better and relatives also aap america mein rehte hai kya pa I am rotting in this hell, India, but you are enjoying in heaven, America. And we also show ten credit cards. <laughs> so we behave as though we are demigods, or descended from heavens. <laughs> and uh, and you know, uh, so we want to show others we are happy, whether we are happy or not. We live for others. Make this this is too much nowadays 20 years ago there used to be a position called receptionist nowadays they changed it and they are calling front office manager why i we are working front office manager <laughs> nobody wants to tell i am a receptionist you know so it's all mind 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 what will others think what will others think of me interesting or not if i wear this jewelry these people are not so much tempted for food you know they have choices in the food no doubt they don't go for any food also but it's always a, you know dignity a position in the society more what others think as long as you think others are others have high regard you can starve no problem you fast you fast and you go to, you tell 100 people yesterday fasted only you can fast mm. <laughs> so and because they want respect and dignity when that is removed they are depressed they can't understand happiness in this world is so temporary distress in this world is also temporary distress comes it stays for a while happiness comes it stays forever i have a small video i'm sure some of you might have seen it but very good video please watch
ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಅಸ್ತು ಕವಂತಯ್ಯ ಶೀತೋಷ್ಣ ಸುಖದಕ್ಕದ ಆಗಮ ಅಪಾಯನು ಅನಿತ್ಯ ತಂ ತತ್ಕ್ಷಸ್ವ ಭಾರತ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವೆನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ನು ದೇ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಟೆಡ್ ಟೈರ್ ಆಸ್ ದೋ ದಿಸ್ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಡೋನೋ ಟುಡೇ people are spending so much money on birthdays and parties as though is it is eternal if you expand like a balloon when the happiness is there multiple times i cannot i'm just throwing a number two times or four times when distress comes we are compressed like a deflated tire we are distressed what is krishna telling tolerate happiness tolerate distress tolerate tam titiksha swabharata become a landa landa quality of equanimity happiness comes my lord thank you very much tomorrow happiness comes don't be like this no i can enjoy with with gratitude distress comes my lord for what i have done i should be crushed but you are so wonderful you are giving me only this much be grateful i have a question for all of you you get a phone call one day you got you have been selected as a ceo of city bank is possible that is it possible or not but then you get a phone call your dear father passed away i'm parent is it possible or not both are possible i mean what i mean to ceo means ceo means a good job is it possible or not both are possible but if you think happiness comes or this is eternal it is not eternal in a human life human body then why krishna telling why is krishna telling in this many verses you are not his body but spirit soul this verse is actually embedded suddenly krishna says tam tatakshasma bharata tolerate arjuna happiness comes distress comes they are concomitant they are cyclical they come and go but because we do not know this when problem comes today in america every year 450000 people commit suicide even today in every big city in america 30 40 people end their life tenth leading cause of death in america no spirituality sometimes people say what is the use of bhagavad gita this is the use tolerate happiness comes i can enjoy in a responsible way distress comes except in a responsible way there is a reason why krishna is giving this suffering there is a reason why krishna is giving this happiness be responsible and happiness be grateful and distress be hopeful let us repeat again happiness be distress be yes also there is a nice story i don't know what time you have to finish this class because if i keep on talking like this 10 o'clock only i can end is it okay 10 is the right time okay <coughs> so i thought 9:30 you know so there is a famous story you know in christian tradition actually this king asked i need a one sentence when i am so elated in joy that should bring me normal that should make me normal and when i am so distressed when i this one sentence that should make me hopeful is there anybody in the in the court who can tell me one sentence which will work for both ac and uh, heat everybody is telling will tell two sentences he said only one sentence this sentence should make me hopeful when i am distressed 
this sentence should make me normal when i am expanded like a balloon with joy nobody said but from nowhere one saint came and said i don't need your gift but i have that sentence and what he did he wrote it on a piece of paper he covered it my my dear king because i don't need gift you don't need to read this right now put it underneath your ring whenever you are sad whenever you have you are in you are distressed when you have no hope left read this and whenever you are so proud with happiness if you want to become normal open this and read it this will make you normal king said all right so what happened very soon <laughs> there was a big battle in neighboring country they declared war on him so he went to defend in that battle he suffered heavy losses and at one point naib enemy soldiers surrounded him you know he was one they were 10 when I mean, there were many and uh, they was fighting and he realized he will die suddenly he started running away on his horse and they were chasing he was one they were many and he understood he will not continue they will soon you know uh, take him over and they will kill him and when he lost that hope as he was galloping on the horse suddenly he thought of this paper paper and he took it out and he read it this too shall change means this situation is not permanent this will change oh this will change he immediately picked up a renewed strength and he galloped galloped he ran away he escaped but he preserved the paper you know a queen came to know king was defeated so soldiers actually brought her to the she also vacated the palace and uh, she started living with the husband in forest and so many troubles i know he led a royal life today nobody is there and you have to live a very you have to lead a very solitary life with nobody but what kept him what what kept him going this too shall change so every time he read this you know it renewed his strength <clears throat> he renewed his strength continued slowly aggregated his army back and one day what happened he declared war again and his soldiers helped and he defeated the neighboring king again and got his kingdom back so uh, when he got the kingdom back he was walking back to the city all the citizens they welcomed him throwing flowers you know um finally he ascended the throne he felt wow i have conquered the universe he expanded he elated with joy then he suddenly thought of no no he took the paper out and read this to shall change means this position is also temporary you will not be eternal you eternally a king you will this position is also temporary this happiness is temporary should i continue so what is krishna telling material pleasures are they have a beginning and end yahi sansparsa ja boga dukha yona evati adyanta vanta kaunteya nateshuramate buda arjuna because material pleasures have beginning it will start at 11:10 and it will end at 11:12 whether it's a gulab jamun or a samosa whatever or some longer pleasures they start at 11 o'clock and end at 11:30 i don't see i have not come across any pleasure that lasts for entire one day no but this is the source for misery you say how or a material happiness is a source for my misery answer is yes how sun is a source of light sun is the source of darkness presence of sun is light absence of sun is a darkness likewise that pleasure which is coming in contact with senses you know when that is absent misery it's present some pleasure 
ಬಟ್ ಆದಿ ಅಂತ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಆದಿ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಎಂಡ್ ಆದಿ ಅಂತ ಅಂತ ಕೌಂತಯ್ಯ ನತೇಶ್ವರ ಮತೆ ಬುಧ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ದೇ ಅಡಾಪ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ರಮಂತ ಯೋಗನಂತ ರಮಂತೋ ಯೋಗನಂತ ಸತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಚಾತ್ಮನಿ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಷರ್ಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ದೇ ಟೇಕ್ ಶೆಲ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ ಲಾಡ್ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಹೂ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹೂ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಷರ್ ಹೂ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲೇಷರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೋಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಮೆಟರಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಷರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ illusory and temporary how many of you want me to prove material pleasures are illusory and temporary you really want me to prove of course we forget anyway in half an hour to take prasad you know so you are I mean, you all studied in the college right <laughs> in this type of things happen in the college only so you are very hungry you went to a can you went to cafeteria ordered two samosas to gulab jamuns rasagulla plate is full you are hungry also and you are about to eat your friend comes are you are here searching for you all the time just no results came we all passed you only failed <laughs> oh you are eating eat eat we all passed you only failed you take gulab jamun put in the mouth no taste if we had told we all failed probably some taste <laughs> but we said we all passed you only failed america there is a better example you are here just no results came we are all selected we all we all got a job f1 to h1 you didn't get the job <laughs> i didn't get the job you all go you all got job that is even more painful actually <laughs> yes or no one time actually i used to go to carnegie mellon for preaching you know not like america these days yes there was really good karma probably 7 8 10 years ago if your computer science whether america was in recession or not everyone would get job so first batch got the job everyone got the job in lehman brothers as soon as they got the job everyone started walking on the first floor lehman brothers other guys you didn't get the job <laughs> i got job lehman brothers and the second batch interviews happened they all got job in, in goldman sachs you know but i think goldman sachs is little one step lower than lehman brothers those days and this this guys who got job in lehman uh, goldman sachs other guys hmm, you didn't get job i got no okay. you know entry was not so tough you know it's easy only <laughs> uh, but whenever they would see guys who got job in lehman brothers uh, you know so i am better than you then slowly what happened 38 people got job two people didn't get they became so serious to come to come and attend the program <laughs> why are i have everything but what i don't have is only luck you know i attended all these interviews but why i didn't get the job it is very painful 38 people went out and what happened out of two one got the job are krishna misery loves company right so they were good friends but one guy got the job the last one is a girl she would come to the program one hour before she would serve the prasad left and right swachha hum real story you know you know usually nobody would students they don't want to apply tilak tilak and i said don't worry you'll get the job don't worry when it became it became so intense i started be worrying as though it is my job actually <laughs> you can't believe one day she got the job that i came to know later i never saw her till this day so when people approach god for these things they approach only until you get it the moment you get it you will become a donor you will not become a devotee 
you know that's why bhakti has lot of value i never saw her till this day actually <coughs> so people who come to temple asking krishna give me that give me this they are using spirituality as a spare wheel spare tire you work very hard everything you tried it's not working then take out the spare wheel spirituality should not be used as a spare wheel it should be used as a steering wheel because okay why i am telling this story there is a there is a value exactly one and a half years later lehman brothers declared bankruptcy the first thing that came into my mind these are my good friends who were walking in the first floor they declared a bankruptcy and many laid a many lays off i mean they laid many people off that is this world especially youth they don't understand this but when somebody comes to bhakti starts practicing bhakti you know at a very young age and if whatever the energy they put outside in career same way they approach krishna radharani lord chaitanya they go very far means they have understood the reality <laughs> bhagavad gita has lot of value because bhagavad gita doesn't teach office less school lessons it teaches life lessons okay you have got the best job you are not laid off but when there is a relationship problem what works our intelligent works your son is not listening intelligent works relationship problem intelligence works money works money doesn't work intelligent it and intelligence doesn't work what works is a krishna factor should i continue so the next one this is the place actually spirituality starts here all vijnanamaya so you don't come to hare krishna for a green card for citizenship but you come to bhakti because whatever i have told you understood at least theoretically so we are trying to understand we are not this body but a spirit soul and we are aware of the temporary nature of this body eternal blissful nature of the soul at least we know theory you should know people of this cat actually had a video but it's gone i mean i tried to retrieve yeah, i tried yesterday night you know because my computer crashed but that's a great video actually so my point is a uh, people have come to this stage actually they are they are making a good progress why they are at the fourth level they are actually only one level away from uh, attain the perfection you have to little bit patient they have come to vijnanamaya vijnanamaya means but you should know this when you enter into the stage you know only theory i am not this body and spirit so you should know this one day i sat to take lunch with a sanyasi and he said yugal kishor i i got have a realization to share with you yes maharaj please tell me my realization is i am this body <laughs> maharaj what are you talking yes yesterday i went to hospital got my tooth extracted then i realized i am this body the pain is too much <laughs> the pain is so much i mean he is joking it is so much painful is thing i am not this body are i am not this what i am not this body so much pain what do you think i am this body <laughs> so telling it's very easy to give lectures when somebody is listening end of the day spirituality means you have to pilot your own flight lecturing doesn't work i understood after 20 years but lecturing works in one way when you are telling somebody you are also listening hopefully it will work right so this sanyasi told me i got this relation i am this body because after tooth extraction so much pain means i have not realized yet you all should know i have been preaching for 20 so many not 20 years so many years 
I am not this body but a spirit soul. But I know very well, I have not realized this yet. I still think I am this body. So it's not easy. Should I continue? Yes. So, but yes, theoretically we know. Krishna is a, for us Krishna is not a theoretical theory, but Krishna is a reality. You know? So when people enter into this, you want to know Hare Krishna statistics in Sunday Fish? 12.30, no, I lived in Yurindavan, that's why, for years. 12.30 to 1, 40 people, Kirtan, Aarti. How many? 40 people. And you really get a feeling, you know, you're praying, music is very good, you know, jump up and down, dance. And then 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, Bhagavad Gita class, everyone disappears. Two people, including me, the speaker. And there will be only one person. All the people go, ah, we know, you know, I am not interested. And this Prabhu also, you know, so <laughs> obligated, you know, what will he think, you know. <laughs> I don't want him to feel bad, you know. So he would, uh, he would uh, sit in, you know, praying when the class would end. <laughs> Finally the class would end. <laughs> and two o'clock onwards, Mahaprasade Govinda starts. Like, you know, you know how, how, how do I know how many, I don't know how many of you know. What is the sign that summer is coming? I don't know about California, but Michigan, I can tell you. The moment ants start coming, ants start surfacing, that is a sign summer is going to come. Likewise, <laughs> as soon as it clocks, two o'clock, Mahaprasade hours, all these ants from different holes, <laughs> they all converge at the prasadam table. 220 people. Are, where were you during Aarti? Where were you during lecture? We want to see Krishna only in the form of prasad only. <laughs> Means you should know. But that's fine. You know, because it is offered to Krishna. Prasad is Krishna. Prasad is Sarudukkanam. Hanirashyopajayate. So the prasad is another meaning. But prasad means mercy. Right? Prasadya Sarodhukkanam Harirasyo Bajayate. Prasanna Chetasya so? Stati. So, but at least they are starting with Prasad. That's good. But we should not stay with Prasad only. We have to, after some time, from instead of coming to the Sunday feast at 2 o'clock, come at 1 o'clock. Then come at 12.30. So, the point is, uh, so Vijnanamaya means uh, they understand the ne temporary nature of the body. Eternal nature of spirit. So, they only understanding theoretically, not realized yet. What is that? Uh? Not realized yet. So, uh, they genuinely become the student of uh, spiritual science. And uh, they seriously do sadhana. Many people complain, I no taste, I have given up chanting. But what, do you really have a taste to go to college and study? You really have a taste to maintain family? So many things we do. Because uh, we do it out of duty. Likewise, uh, uh, Anardha Nivritti is the longest phase, Vishnu Chakruti Thakur explains. In the Sraddha to Prema ladder, Anardha Nivritti is the Longest phase. Rest are all very easy actually. I mean, very is relatively very short span. Nishta, Ruchi, Asakti, Bhava, Stai Bhava and Prema. This quality of Anardhanavrati, it lasts very long time, at least one lifetime or maybe 30, 40 years. So I did not finish. When Vaisaji Prabhu was giving class, Charu Prabhu entered and Charu Prabhu asked Prabhupada, how many years Prabhupada? Prabhupada, to attain the perfection in Krishna consciousness, Prabhupada said 40 years. You know, I am sure some of you who have finished 40 years should be very confident. <laughs> you know, some of you who have not finished 40 years should be very hopeful. So, <coughs> what is that? Uh, they pursue, the way they have pursued computer science, they pursue spiritual science in the same seriousness. That is what is called a Vijnanamaya. The next stage is 
ఆనందమయ ఐ వాస్ థింకింగ్ యాక్చువల్ ఐ థాట్ అ లాట్ హౌ డు ఐ డిపెక్ట్ ఆనందమయ ఆనందమయ కోశ సో హోమ్ కెన్ ఐ డిపెక్ట్ అదర్ దాన్ ప్రభుపాద్ ద ఈజియస్ట్ థింగ్ ఫర్ మీ జస్ట్ పుట్ ప్రభుపాద్ పిక్చర్ యాక్చువల్ సో ఆనందమయ కోశ ఈజ్ ద పర్ఫెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ యు హ్యావ్ రియలైజ్డ్ యువర్ నాట్ దిస్ బాడీ యు హ్యావ్ రైలై రియలైజ్ ద టెంపరీ నేచర్ ఆఫ్ ద బాడీ అండ్ ద ఎటర్నల్ నేచర్ ఆఫ్ ద స్పిరిట్ సోల్ అండ్ అండ్ వాట్ యూ డూ దట్ ఈస్ వెన్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఎ పర్సన్ విటెన్స్ పర్ఫెక్షన్ కెన్ నాట్ బేర్ ద ప్రజెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇమ్ పర్ఫెక్షన్ బట్ కృష్ణస్ మెర్సీ ఈజ్ సో వండర్ఫుల్ ఎ పర్సన్ విటెన్స్ ద పర్ఫెక్షన్ బికమ్స్ ద రిసిపియంట్ ఆఫ్ ద మెర్సీ ఆఫ్ కృష్ణ ఇన్ ద ఫామ్ ఆఫ్ కంపాషన్ ఎస్ టుడే నైట్ ఐ వాస్ టెల్లింగ్ శ్రీల ప్రభుపాద్ వాజ్ ఎన్ రాధాధామ టెంపుల్ హార్డ్లీ టూ కిలోమీటర్స్ అవే ఫ్రమ్ వమ్ సేవ కొంచెం వంశీ బట్ వేర్ కృష్ణ పర్ఫామ్ రాసలీల పీపుల్ గోడ్ ఎవరు ఉందా అంటూ డై to go back die and leave the body and go back to spiritual world so this person says vamsi prabhupad was staying in vamsi gopal temple and the security guard first time in his life he happened to come across one gentleman this gentleman he comes and goes away he comes and works in the night tak 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 and he gets up as though he is working he is doing his job he gets up in the morning he takes a early train and with all these peepers then he disappears few days later he'll come again and one o'clock in the night tuck 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 typing machine this guy thought who is this old man very driven so a person who is uh, <clears throat> is very very spiritual actually spirituality doesn't mean a, a particular dress a particular ashram spirituality means a state of consciousness no names but one famous guru from india comes to america he brings his own water to take bath he brings his own water to cook he brings his own water to drink very famous guru and and only his disciples should cook one day somebody told prabhupa about prabhupada swami prabhupada lived with uh, hippies really ate their food really drank their water really without being affected he transformed them this famous guru said oh he has not he is not ordinary he has not accomplished this in this lifetime he has already accomplished siddha nitya siddha otherwise it is not easy the metal contamination in the west is so high i bring my own water to take bath you know so only my disciples should cook with this is indian water hari krishna so uh there was a musical band called the grateful dead look there came from california only recently they met and they said no i don't think there was only one guru that time in in america prabhupad no there were many powerful gurus actually more powerful than prabhupad in india but they said this grateful dead band only swami prabhupad lived with us stayed with us shared our problems and expressed shared i mean showed his love and compassion prabhupad would stay in the queue seven eight people this is prabhupad 70 year old you know when you become actually you know I, big, big, many of us cannot understand anyway because we are not 70 you know 70 old age prostrate problem comes when the number one means you have to go prabhupad would stand in the queue with the uh, what is that uh, brahmin thread around his ears waiting and there will be three four hippies in the queue standing in the front prabhupad never said you know i am i have i am I have, i have brought you guys to krishna consciousness give me the first way prabhupad never said that and you know when you travel especially when you age out your sugar levels go down you become angry actually 
and Prabhupada started the movement at the age of 70. And what is his compassion? Unparalleled compassion. We live in that compassion. Otherwise, is it easy for our uh, souls of 16 rounds? Is it easy to struggle and fight with Maya? Can we survive the attack of Maya? His prayers and his spiritual master Saraswati Thakur prayers. He chanted one billion names for 10 years. You know, just to establish this moment. So that we chant the holy name for some years and they have created the qualification for us. We don't have any compassion. We have only passion. There is a devotee called in India, Chaupati. His name is Sudhama Prabhu. Compassion means for us a passion come karo. <laughs> what is our compassion? You reduce your passion. Passion come karne ka. So that is compassion. So we don't have any compassion. Then how do we stage, reach that stage? I showed the before. What is that? When we attain the human form of life, it is budding consciousness. You know? Mukulita chetana. Then how do we come to the fully bloomed consciousness? Purna vikasita chetana. So internally, how do we come from annamaya to anandamaya? Practice bhakti very sincerely. Practice anukulyasya sankalpa. Accept whatever is favorable for bhakti and reject pratikulyasya varjanam. Reject whatever is unfavorable. This is good for bhakti, take it. This is bad for bhakti, reject it. Believe me, Steve Jobs, he did not quote this in, in as it is. But he said, every day morning, I would go in front of the mirror. Whatever I am doing, is it good for my last day of life? Because he doesn't know, you know, Bhakti Rasamrata Sindhu and Upadesh Amrata. I would ask my, this question every day, is it good for my last day of my life, whatever I am doing now? If answer is no for four or five days, he would change it. That's what he says. Very interesting actually. Pratikul Yasya Varjanam Whatever is not favorable for Bhakti, reject it. So many people say this, you know, we have problem get up, getting up in the morning. That means you are not showing an interest for Bhakti. Sleep early, rise early. We'll make man healthy, wealthy and wise. We don't know whether it will make us wealthy or not. Definitely it will make us healthy, it will make us wise. Because health is there, naturally wealth is there. So, if we chanting is the priority, uh, sleep early. Every one hour we sleep before 12 o'clock is equal to 2 hours according to Ayurveda. 9 to 12, every one hour is equal to 2 hours. 12 to 4, every one hour is equal to 1 hour. After 4 o'clock, every one hour is equal to half an hour. So, imagine you sleep at 12 o'clock and get up at 7. How many hours? 12 to 4, 4 hours. 4 to, well let us take 8, 4 to 8, 4 hours. So you slept 8 hours, but according to Ayurveda, you slept only 6 hours. Let us see, you slept at 9 o'clock and got up at uh, uh, 4 o'clock. 9 to 12, 3 hours, but according to Ayurveda, 6 hours. 12 to 4, it is 4 hours, but according to Ayurveda, 4. So how many hours you slept? Though you slept 7 hours, you slept 10 hours. But you should all know, according to medical science, the reconstruction of the body happens. It starts at 9 o'clock, 9, 9.30. If you have an injury, lie down at 9 o'clock. Believe me, you start feeling stitching. Anybody who doesn't sleep early, they are, they are slowing down the recovery process and very soon they age out. But how many of us sleep before 11 o'clock? Probably none. So, we are putting so much pressure on the body. You know? One time one devotee said, uh, materialist, he abuses the body. Because he thinks he's the, you know, 
he thinks he is the body and he is fully body conscious. Spiritualist, he abuses the body because he thinks he is not the body. <laughs> Both are wrong. One famous doctor told me this. I was really surprised. From Michigan. He said, when we take birth, we have two lines. Lifeline, health line. No doctor can change this health line, lifeline. Means this many years, this many breaths. But, our health line is also there. Vignata. Vignata means intelligence is a Stretching this health line equal to the lifeline. And still last day also we should be healthy. But because of our uh, uh, very, very, uh, I cannot say bad habits, unusual habits. And because we think we are this body, at least theoretically, even devotees abuse the body. I am no exception actually. Then what happens? Your health line suddenly ends at the age of a particular age it ends. Means body lifts the hands. But you have a lifeline extending another 20 more years. Whether you are a devotee or not, suffering is suffering. So what is the moral, what is the good moral point? Protect your health line. Take it equally with the lifeline. Don't think I am a devotee of Krishna. Krishna will protect. Krishna will protect. The protection is for spirit soul. Krishna's guarantee is for spiritual life. You know, therefore, definitely in all friends, no doubt. But we should not think Krishna will protect you. You know, he'll come and he'll remove my cold cough. You know, if you think like that, I'm sure you know you're over enthusiastic. So. Arakshatisyatiti uh, Vishwaso. You know, Krishna is my protector, full faith. Very important. You know, Krishna is my protector. So, Draupadi, what she did, Dushasana was dragging. She said, Rascal, what are you doing? You know, when my husbands come to know, they will they'll make you chutney. The Dasasan said, You can't, nobody can do anything. When she was dragged to the assembly, she saw Yudhishthir, Bhim, Arjun, Nakul, and Sahadev sitting there, heads bent. Her heart went down. She went and said, What is this? How dare he drag, he can drag me like this in front of you. Maharaj Yudhishthir said, no, no, we have lost everything. So lengthy story, I am cutting it short. The moment she understood, immediately, Krishna, my Lord, you know, when you lose faith, hope, you cannot live. So husbands are our hope. They are telling, we lost, we lost you also. Immediately, Krishna got up in Dwarka. That day he was playing game of dice with uh, Draupati. Sorry, game, playing game of dice with Rukmini. Every day Krishna would win. That day Krishna was losing. Rukmini said, my lord, what's happening? You're losing. Your, your mind is not here. You're losing. What can I tell you, Rukmini? These demons, they are trying to deserve Draupati. And uh, you know, she took the shelter of her husband. Husband said, we can't do anything. She called me. She called me. My Lord, when she calls you, you should go. Krishna said, it's very far. Are, where is Dwarka? Where is uh, Hastinapur, Delhi? If you take a train, tomorrow only it will reach. <laughs> it's very far. Mother Rukmini said, My Lord, what are you talking? In the form of Brahman, you are everywhere. All pervasive. That's why you are able to perceive it. No, no, you should protect it. Protect her right now. Krishna said, no, no, it's very far. Play, play. When Draupadi called Krishna, Krishna didn't come. She went to Bhishma. My Lord, um, grandfather, the first daughter-in-law of the Kuru dynasty is going to become naked. There are 40,000 people sitting here. You should not allow this to happen. Vidura, 
Drona, Krupachary, Ashwatthama, please help. Everyone was bending head. Nobody was helping. Then again she became scared. Usually that's how we take the guards out. You know, if not this, this will work. If not this, it's not working. Immediately, my Lord, Krishna, please come. Krishna. Krishna got up. Rukmini said, my Lord, what happened? She has taken the shelter of Kurus, but they are not coming to her shelter. She is calling me. My Lord, when she is calling, you should go. She is your pure devotee. She is pure devotee. Her name is also Krishna. Krishna said, it is very far. Play, play. My Lord, what are you talking? You are present in your heart as Paramatma. You can manifest it just like that. Krishna said, I know it is far. Play. Then Dusasan, you know, she, she tried. Then Dusasan, she, nothing worked. Then Dusasan started, you know, pulling her sari. He, Dusasan had 10,000 elephant strength. Draupadi was a simple lady. So, she called, My Lord, please come. Krishna. Krishna got up. What happened? Rukmini, what can I tell you? This demon, Dushasana is pulling her sari and Draupadi is struggling. Rukmini said, My Lord, what are you talking? Draupadi cannot live. The, if she becomes naked today, that is her last day today. I should go. Krishna said, No, it's far, Rukmini. Play, play. So Rukmini, Krishna didn't come. She was holding the sari like this. With one hand, she, was start, she started praying Krishna with another hand. The sauce is powerful. Finally, Draupadi understood. You know, I cannot fight. Then she resolved in her mind. And she, My Lord, it is your desire that I should become naked in front of all these people. You will protect me. You will. If you want me to become naked today in front of them, I will. You want to protect? You will. You want me to become naked? I will. But no matter what happens, please remember I am your devotee. Don't forsake me. And what she did, she thought like this and she gave up like this. She raised both arms up in the air and she cried out only one time, Hey Krishna! Hey Govinda! Dusasana Sari! She gave up! I can pull her sari before he thought like that. Bhishma saw you. The first uh, daughter-in-law of the Kuru dynasty is going to become naked before this uh, Bhishma thought like that. Krishna got up. Rukmini, I have to go now. Rukmini said, My Lord, it is very far. <laughs> Rukmini, Krishna said, Yes, it is very far. But Draupati made the way with her tears. I can reach that reach the place in no minute. Before Draupati finished the word Govinda, Krishna was there. And Krishna means unlimited. Krishna's help is unlimited. Krishna released unlimited number of saris. My request to you, in the hands of old age, disease, in the relationship problems, family issues, emotional issues. Money doesn't work. Intelligence doesn't work. Krishna works. So, that's why, you know, bhakti, what is very important is sharanagati. Ankul yasya sankalpa pratikul yasya varjanam rakshati shatiti shvaso guptrutve varanam tatha. Krishna is my maintainer. And then Rukhpati asked, My Lord, when they pulled me to the assembly, I called you, you didn't come. When I asked my, you know, then uh, I went and asked all the Kurus, you didn't come. When Dushasana was pulling Sari, you didn't come. But my Lord, when I raised hands and gave up fighting, you were fighting resistance, you came. Krishna said, Draupati, initially you depended on your husbands. Later you depended on Kuru's elders. Finally you depended on your own strength. But when nothing was working, you depended fully on me. Krishna demands this surrender, 1866, Sarodharmana Parthidya. 
the entire bhagavad gita was written for this surrender sarva dharma an parthitya surrender and understand krishna is my only maintainer what lord chaitanya knows we cannot we are kaliga people we cannot exhibit that surrender so lord chaitanya doesn't demand the surrender so lord chaitanya as a devotee he came to teach us this practice of surrender he is raising his hands on our behalf so that we don't need to raise because he knows our egos are taller than everest and we cannot surrender so this devotee says surrender means sar under jukke rehna hai you know so you have to not like this but uh, sar under you know sar means head in hindi jukke rehna hai but can we do that our ego sir so high so lord chaitanya doesn't demand you know because sri krishna chaitanya radha krishna nahi anya so because of the radha and his presence lord chaitanya is very merciful more you know magnanimous so the point is uh, <clears throat> ಆತ್ಮನಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಕಾರ್ಪಣ್ಯ ಷಡ್ವಿಧ ಶರಣಾಗತಿ ಏನು ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಮೈ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಐ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಡೂ ದಟ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಓನ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಬಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸೊ ಆತ್ಮನಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಕಾರ್ಪಣ್ಯ ಸೊ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಮೈ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಏನು ಕಾರ್ಪಣ್ಯ ಹ್ಯುಮಿಲಿಟಿ one quality that krishna is very pleased with is humility i don't have anything everything is owned by krishna actually i, wrote, I prepared that slide as i said before my computer was corrupt you know the sorry this this thing was corrupt so so what is that uh, if we lead a life of the six principles my existence it belongs to krishna and with humility we lead the life then we become it is proper desire that we all become the lamp light of knowledge and the lamp light of devotion in the lives of others and of course ourselves prabhupad was building palace of gold as the devotees of prabhupad were building palace of gold near navan then uh, one devotee went to prabhupad and said prabhupad we heard from krishna book you know this palace is, you know they are studded with the walls of palace are studded with jewels so should we should we put jewels on these walls and on these pillars prapa said my devotees are jewels they light up the whole world so we have to live up to that prapa the expectations shri chaitanya mahaprabhu took sanyas uh, he gave up atyaktva sudishya surep staradya lakshmi dharmishta arya vachasa yadaga adarnyam maya mrugam daiti ipsthman vadavat vande mahapurushati charana aravindam so he has given up the association of gods of fortune you know and uh, he has taken sanyas for what just to chase people who are chasing after this maya so lord chaitanya has taken sanyas for this reason my point to you you have come to a krishna and your pride this is for those people who are sincerely serious practicing you should not for everybody actually not not just sincere people you come to hare krishna's means your plate is already served you should know that i have a question for all of you one day before we came to krishna consciousness how many of us know we will come to krishna consciousness and it will change our life do we know this none then of all the people in the world why we are the only chosen ones what qualification we have i can tell myself i have broken all the regulated principles that's why i'm chosen or krishna so the point is uh, the mercy flowed in a causeless way that's why mercy is called causeless so when when we are given a lot we are expected to give more back i know so <coughs> what is that uh, uh, imagine sunday feast there are 200 people in the queue and prasad is enough only for 100 what you will do you start giving sabji as chutney <laughs> because what about my plate you know 
every plate you know you are counting because servers they eat only at the end but there are there is prasad is enough for 100 but 200 people you start giving little 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 rice you put only one spoon you know because end of the day there are six servers and the communication passes hey thoda kam karo otherwise we'll not have plates last week also i didn't have suddenly the command temple command will come and say prabhu ji what are you doing the prasad is cooked for 400 people forget about more than that your plates are already made <laughs> see oh really then you start serving chutney as sabji this much <laughs> eat prabhu eat nahi 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 enough nahi thakat milega kha why your plate is served <laughs> so then all the compassion comes out so likewise uh, trust me you don't need to be so much worried and shri chatanya mahaprabhu is very magnanimous radharani is magnanimous and nityananda prabhu is magnanimous and krishna is of course magnanimous so more than anything all this mercy is coming through shri prabhu pad so we are the chosen ones to give go and do a book distribution prasadam distribution preaching doesn't mean lecturing actually preaching means somehow create faith somehow engage them in service that's it you know there are two devotees one devotee is a disciple of radha gond maharaj another is a devotee of gopal krishna maharaj in mumbai i don't have time other is i would have told the stories amazing personalities grosthas they chant 64 rounds every day i i don't know i i also don't chant 64 and nityananda prabhu here you know temple president da dalas he chant 64 rounds as i went and touched his feet prabhu ji i yeah he also chant 64 rounds once in a week all my rounds put together <laughs> <laughs> you know so it doesn't matter somebody is a grass star brahmach i mean the, actually ashram is totally irrelevant and insignificant so but you should know yes mercy you know uh, kaliyuga uh, kaliyuga indraj maharaj says you know we are all mercy case you know so we are all mercy case and if you understand that try to cultivate humility then believe me uh, we'll get to see krishna uh, in this life not after death at least if you have that hope and we become be, be sincere in sadhana if not this left time one left time krishna will pick it up if i have spoken anything wrong please do excuse me as your humble servant i have four minutes any question or comment hari krishna thank you very much for your patient audience again once again if i have spoken anything wrong please do excuse me as your humble servant hari krishna shila prabhupad ki anyone has any question yes bro thank you very much prabhu ji one question i have is uh, you are mentioning about uh, vijnana maya where mm. uh, people come into krishna consciousness mm. and i know we are uh, at least personally for me i can speak i am still trying to come to krishna consciousness mm. but people who come there do they have urges for annamaya there are devotees uh, uh, who are attracted to food how do we kaliga everything is mixed <laughs> <laughs> sometimes people ask are there any kshatriyas are there any mayavadis today there are no bona fide mayavadis they put tilak also <laughs> everything is mixed but abha said it is very difficult you know so suddenly one day you appear like your anandamaya another day you appear like annamaya <laughs> sunday feast you appear annamaya monday you appear <laughs> so they are all mixed actually you know i am honest you know this is a, this is what i thought even today it's very difficult to find a strict bona fide mayavadi also you know strict kshatriya also what is that bhakti charu swami says today there are no kshatriyas actually you know so yes you know 15 days you think you are anandamaya suddenly nobody is there you steal the entire mahaprasad and <laughs> you go so yeah it's me proji believe me uh, the sadhaka has to be very careful with the mind even if vishwamitra muni did tapasya for 1000 years and if you read ramayan what are the qualities vishwamitra muni exhibited you cannot then what happened menaka came shakuntala was born again he started with tapasya another 1000 years rambha came vishwamitra muni said ah now i know why you came i curse you become a stone and he heard somebody laughing he turned indra was laughing 
and he realized uh, last thousand years later i became victim to lust now i become victim to anger this is treta yuga again he started tapasya another thousand years so don't expect easy victory actually they will be there the urges will be there you know tolerate any other question uh, prabhu ji this is about uh, other, another topic of rasas that day mm. so prabhu ji i have a question like in uh, spiritual world we have five rasas right mm. so uh, when uh, and everyone has rasa with krishna mm-hmm. so i want to know like do we have rasa with other other devotees also like um like yashoda maya is having vatsala rasa towards uh, krishna so do she have like with uh, madhuri rasa with her husband like i do i don't know like uh, how but, the rasa but you know takur says you know actually honestly speaking that day i spoke this to enthus the newcomers that uh, this is the end goal of bhakti you know because usually we don't speak so unless uh, we elevate ourselves as long as we are in anardhanivrti stage we should not uh, you know imitate you know uh, honestly speaking uh, a proper rights uh, i don't know the answer whether what is that uh, yashoda having uh, mathurya ras with uh, nanda maharaj and uh, you know proper says uh, you know in uh, spiritual world uh, then the wife and husband is there you know <coughs> there is a little intimacy there uh, but but proper one time he writes they their wife and husband concept is there but they love krishna so much there is an attraction proposes but another place he writes a little different i don't want to quote here but this answer is enough here right so there is a, definitely you know if, if there is there is no brahmacharya ashram for, <laughs> and there is no preaching actually you know so but the so the family structure is there but prabhupad writes um uh they love krishna so much there is no you know what is that they don't they are not, they are not so much attracted yeah, we'll end it here thank you very much 10 o'clock now shri prabhupad ki nobody is there i can see